Can you give a little color as to how you guys come to that decision? Is it strictly just bomb costs and you guys are, you know, working a formula or is there some strategy here and some wiggle room for you guys to price these products? I, I mean, I, I think that you have to start with an understanding of how the product performs and how the product performs relative to both, you know, our prior generation, as well as what the competition is doing. And that's not just raw performance. That's, performance as well as performance per dollar. We wanted to make sure, like I said earlier, that with Radeon, we're building a family of products and a consistent promise that we're delivering you know, more to the end user for their dollar, delivering great value and great gaming experiences with every Radeon card. And so like all of those decisions are, are completely grounded in you know, where the market is today, where the competition is today, where price points are today, and how we deliver on that value proposition to uh, really delight users with the capability that we can we can provide them at, at the price point we can enable.